How's that? Bellator five. You fight Jorge Masvidal, where he beat him with an inverted triangle. It was submission of the year. I mean, you were all over all the MMA media for about two months because of that. Um, was that something you had worked on prior? Did it come together? What was Jorge like before the fight, after the fight? What, 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 what took place there? Uh, so that whole thing. Um, that move. Man, I learned that move when I was 15. Um, wow. And it just kind of stuck with me. Like, I, I kept it. Like, my problem, like, I'll say a lot of things I forgot or I let go because I was told don't mix disciplines by my wrestling coach. My wrestling coach told me, stop using that goddamn judo shit. And I'm like, dude, I can score so many points and do this. I don't use it. It doesn't fucking work. I'm like, All right, fine. So, um, but that one I held on to, and then I started using it again, um, prior to that, uh, actually, I actually submitted a Hermes with it. In, In practice? Okay. Yeah. Uh, even Dean Lister, <laughs> Dean Lister was like, that shit doesn't work. <laughs> but I hit him with it. He was like, holy fuck. <laughs> how'd you do that and then, and then like yeah so so the fight with Masvidal yeah uh I knew about his background and it's not that I planned on using it um but you know I heard him all this talking and this guy's gonna kick your ass and my friends are telling me at the same time like oh yeah he's gonna beat your ass you know you ain't shit I'm like oh okay fuck it keep telling me um during the fight you know he didn't he didn't really act too cocky I was expecting him to uh and during that fight, man, yeah, that reach, was, that jab was quick, man. I uh, I remember having a fight. To, for, everything was a fight. Getting on the inside was a fight. Takedowns were a fight. Everything. Trying to touch them was a fight. It wasn't giving me shit. Uh, and then, man, after the second round, for my cornerman, Shannon, uh, goes – dude, you have to bring this fight to him. You got to turn it into a brawl. Uh, and I was like, last round, I said, fuck it. Stepped to him, started start trying to throw some punches, went for the takedown, got him down. Um, and then he reshot, and I was like, no way this fucker's doing this to me right here. <laughs> I was like, no way. So I just held on, took my time, locked it up, made sure everything was secure, and held on. Just kind of lock, locked up the hips, started uh, arching my hips, and I knew he was going to go out. And I heard my corner man shouting, "Goes, it's a rat!" <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I was God, I was so relieved. I was like, "Holy fuck! Holy fuck! Holy fuck!" Well, that was great. Um, yeah, I was. I felt really good. I felt that what? leveled me up too. Now, what happened afterwards? Was there anything said between you guys afterward? No, he was cool, man. He gave me a hug after. He's like, oh, shit, man. Like, you fucking brought it to me, dude. And yeah, he was cool. He's, he's respectable after the fight. You know, I guess after, after that three rounds, you're kind of calm after. Yeah.